Levels is four is six to four on to be the Irish manager. You say, and you wrote actually in the Star the other day, that Ireland could win the group with the right manager, but he is not Venables. Why? Terry Venables um, was sacked by England uh, last Thursday morning at half past eight. He was part of the worst performance by England in attempting to qualify for a generation. He was assistant to Steve McLaren and uh, he was responsible, uh, many people believe, for the formation that cost England a vital game away to Croatia when they played 3-5-2 with Gary Neville playing as a wing-back. Terry Venables has been 30 years in football. He's won two trophies. Graham Souness, for example, has won 11 trophies. The last uh, job he seriously had was at Leeds, and uh, he was part of the decline of that club. Other factors kicked in as well. Uh, at Portsmouth, he left them when they were bottom of the championship. At Barcelona, in the end, uh, they, they got to the European Cup final, where they were beaten by Stoya Bucharest, but at the end, they were hammered home and away by D Dundee United. His record as a manager is really very, very average indeed. But there's another factor, his character. And I'm going to tell you precisely, I think a manager has to have the character to lead people. He hasn't stayed in any of his last seven jobs for more than two years. Mm. And in, on January... The 14th, 1998, he was disqualified by the High Court in London for acting as a company director for seven years under Section 8 of the Company Directors Disqualification Act of 1986 for mismanagement of four companies. And two of those companies were Tottenham Hotspur PLC and Tottenham Hotspur Football and Athletic Club Limited. The case was brought against Venables by the Department of Trade and Industry in England who cited instances of bribery, lying, deception, manipulation of accounts and taking money that should have been given to creditors. And there's a lot more on that rap sheet as well. Mm. And this man has just been sacked by England. He would not get a job by, from any English Premier League club and has never even been mentioned by any, because the last thing it yeah. leads and the thing before that at Portsmouth were disasters. But and anyone who's pushing Terry Venables has not got the best interests of Irish football in mind. At least they don't know enough about Terry Venables and the Irish public deserve to know everything that needs to be known about this man. And I've been doing my homework for the last 10 days. Yeah. And but they how, are the how, facts. How do, you how do you actually stack that up with the comments of some of the players that he's an excellent coach, he's a great guy according to our captain? And according to, uh, according to everybody, in terms of dealing with the players, he's a terrific motivator. Well, since when have players been able to decide who manages them? I'm talking no, but they're about... they're reflecting on their experience of working with them. Well, whose experience? Well, Keane is one of them, for instance. Well, hold on. First of all, players are always put in an invidious position when they're asked these questions in public. They were asked about Steve Staunton and they were defending him until the very end. Robbie Kane came home and did a late, late show to defend Steve Staunton, which was in, an indefensible. He was doing the right thing, he's a good lad. Players shouldn't be consulted in these situations. I'm asking about the manager of the Irish soccer team in the year 2007. I want a, a man who compares with Brian Cody from Kilkenny, with Eddie O'Sullivan, with all the great people we have in this country. I want best international practice. Birmingham City today headhunted the manager of Scotland, Alex McLeish. They paid him four times what he was being paid by the Scottish FA and he's working for Birmingham as of tomorrow morning. I want, and Birmingham also went after Marcello Lippi, the former manager of Italy and Juventus. I want Ireland to go for the very best out mm. there. But and I believe we should. Yeah. If we re have any self-respect, we will not take Terry Venables. But, and but, I don't believe soccer fans in this country want Terry Venables. But, but what, makes you, the certain, what, what makes you so certain that we're going to get Terry Venables? Because it's been floated, this kite, in every newspaper. They've got a lot of the hacks on side. The back page of tonight's Evening Herald, Don Givens, who played with Terry Venables at QPR, and Don Howe, who he took on to the English coaching staff in 1996. They are going to be the people deciding. That's not independent, it's not transparent, and it's not right. John. Well, not transparent, <coughs> not right. Well, and I think... I think Eamon has well, called him a hollow man in one of well, his writings. I, well, that's fair enough. Eamon, Eamon, Eamon is entitled to his opinion. But more importantly, can I say that he, he also, Eamon, also indicated that you have bought into the myth of... Oh, I haven't bought into anything. 
Uh, Bill, I, I, I wouldn't be as harsh on Terry Venables. I wouldn't know his record as much <coughs> as Eamon did. Uh, all I know is his reputation on football over the years. And anybody that I've spoken to who played for Terry Venables or was managed under Terry Venables, when he was constantly in training on his football, was very, very good. He, they, they, they spoke very, very well of him. Uh, I, would, I would have reservations about Terry Venables because of he's been a bit flighty in his uh, career, Bill, to say the least. In other words, he's had a job that hasn't concentrated on a lot of jobs that he's done. I think the ones that he's concentrated on doing, uh, uh, that he's done, has been good. Excuse me for interrupting you, John. I hate to do this. When he was appointed manager of Leeds United, right, he didn't turn up for the first match mm. because he was doing a gig for the BBC's holiday programme. Mm. Yeah. Sorry, John. I'm not doubting that. <coughs> it's the fact. Yeah, I know. I'm not yeah, saying, but he's saying, not, saying, <coughs> well, you're saying when I, he concentrates on yeah. something, he's good at it. Well, how I do think, we know he's going to concentrate? Well, we don't know, Eamon, but we don't Why know. Why are we giving him the job, then? Well, hang on. I mean, he hasn't got the... Sorry. Okay. okay. Sorry, John. Go we, on. Sorry. Well, look, I think we've got to get back to base. First of all, the selection committee has been uh, set up, right? We, we assume that... Don it hasn't been formally announced anyway. Formal. We don't know what their terms of reference are going to be. So I think we've got to be patient on that, Eamon and then see what happens. If Terry Venables is, is, is appointed, then I think it's right that he's done and you can talk the way you, you, you're talking now. I think it hasn't been done. There's a lot way to go. It could be lit, it could but be But you anybody. see, the point is, John, with respect, that it, it feels to me, as a reader of the papers, is like a runaway train. Yeah, yes. but that yeah. It's getting, we're getting into a situation where we, can't, we won't be able but to withdraw from the Venables. Hang on. I don't think you can. Bill, the papers will always do what they have to do and in their own interest. We've seen all this before about managers and, and this, that, the other. The, the selection committee hasn't been formed yet. You've got to give them a chance to do that. The papers will also follow. You'll have favourites this week, it'll be somebody else's favourites No, but John, the papers, papers are also used to prime the public, yeah. to prepare the public for an, a, a, an announcement. In, in other words, kites are flown in newspapers. Well, That's I true. hope to shoot this one down, and I think the Irish public will shoot okay, it down you, as well. You're in a very invidious position because... <laughs> I'm glad I'm not favourite. <laughs> <laughs> you're next. So yeah. what's your, what, what is your view? What is your view? Do you think that... that I think <laughs> an ideal scenario, Bill, you'd, you'd, you'd be employing a, an Irishman to be the manager of your team. If that's not, if that's not possible, um, if there's no obvious candidate, um, then you go out and find the best man possible. And, and, um, but do you think that, say, Liam Brady is a really good candidate? Good enough? Well, I, 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 or David O'Leary? Well, I think, as I've said, the ideal scenario would be to go and find an Irishman who can do the job. You know, you, someone with experience, someone who, who understands international football. Um, and and that, that really would be where you should start. If that is not possible, go out and find who you regard as the next best Okay, but I mean, candidate. would you would you buy into um, uh, Eamon's argument that Terry Venables, uh, and I know you're in, a, in an invidious position, but Terry Venables anyway. is actually carrying a lot of baggage and therefore shouldn't be considered because he's carrying a lot of baggage, even though his function would be entirely different to that when he was in Spurs or anywhere like that? Well, I mean, I know Terry Venables. I know he's a, he's a, he's a, a communicator. You know, he can get his message across. Good fun to be around. I take Eamon's point of view. I, I, I think some of that is, is worth listening to. And I also take some of John, John's argument, you know, where, where people do say nice things about him. I mean, I think if Terry was fully focused 100% on the job, I'm sure, I'm sure he could do a decent job. The other things that, that Eamon's mentioned tonight might not go down well with certain people. But in terms but of... Well, as a football of, man now, <coughs> as an international footballer, would you be... Would you be affected by that, or would you take a very narrow view that I, can he, I, can I, he coach say, and can he manage? Well, by all accounts, he can coach. Well, hold on, hold on. This is a, let's get away from the character issue. Yeah. Let's accept your point on your terms. At Portsmouth, left them bottom of the championship. Bottom. Mm. Right? Leeds, left them bottom of the Premier League. There were extenuating circumstances there that were, were in financial meltdown. Now, another thing that's cited by many of his supporters is the job he did at Middlesbrough. When he went there uh, as a firefighter, a troubleshooter, to help Brian Robson keep them in the division. During that spell, Middlesbrough played 25 matches in the Premier League. They won seven. Now, this man's CV is riddled with uh, failure uh, and worse than failure. But we'll stick just to the football points. Uh, 1996, England mm -hmm. got to the semi-final of the European Championships, right? They drew with Switzerland. They struggled to beat Scotland, who missed a penalty in the match. Uh, in the end, uh, 
they went out uh, on penalties. Beat Holland. Did, did beat Holland. The Holland team, at that time, yeah. the black players and I mean, the white you players... Can, you can't be selective. You well, I have to. No, but you no, can't look back and say... No, but you can't look back and say... They were no good no. and they were no good. No, they weren't. They, they, they the black they players and the white players were sitting at different tables. The, That's right, Holland, the yeah. Holland camp was in disarray. No. Now, hold on. No, John, hold on. These are facts.